Hello, my name is Sean Bulwark. I'm a solutions architect at Cohesity. In the next 20 minutes, I'd like to introduce you to our data platform and really focus on what I think is our most important feature, that being simplicity. On the roadmap today, I'm going to spend 15 minutes talking about the Cohesity data platform. I'm going to skip past the demo today and go right directly into talking a bit about the Cohesity organization itself, some of our DNA and history. So to get started, I want to talk about what is secondary data. So if we use the analogy of an iceberg, that tip of the iceberg that sits above the water, that's what we would call your primary workloads. Mission critical data and applications, your client facing data, low latency always needs to be on. And, and then there we're seeing a really quite a bit of innovation, a lot of innovation around hyper-converged technologies and, and around flash storage. But where Coesity focuses on is on that large piece of the iceberg that sits below the water line, what we call our secondary workloads, backup and recovery, archiving, files and objects, test dev and analytics. And your secondary workloads actually constitutes about 80% of your corporate footprint and about 4x the cost when compared to primary. And a big problem we're seeing with secondary workloads is the fragmentation and darkness. And first, take a look at the fragmentation, just this diagram alone. All these different silos, each one requ requiring its own hardware, its own software and licenses, different skill sets. And and we're seeing what's happening in the data center, the exact same thing happening in the cloud, a separate silo for backup, a separate silo for test dev, and really what we call mass data fragmentation. And a big problem with this data that's both existing on-prem and in the cloud is darkness, not knowing what that data is. Putting a lot of risk, you know, do you have any private data out there, any compliant data, any data with value? That darkness really puts your organization at risk. And what Coesity is, are, we are a software-defined data platform where we take the secondary workloads of backup and recovery, archiving, files and objects, test dev and analytics, and collapse them down onto a single operating platform. In doing so, removing all the silos, all the different redundant copies, and significantly reducing your data footprint. Getting rid of all those different silos, all the different hardware and licenses, and significantly reducing your cost. And everything that sits on top of Coesity, we index. Being able to take a look inside instantly to, uh, to be able to identify any data that's private, any data that's risky, any data that has any value inside of it. So if we take a little bit closer look at our software-defined platform, let's talk a bit about first what we run on. And we run on the concept of what's called a node. So if I'm in a data center, a node, in this case, I'm going to use the example of a HP DL380. In each node, what we have is 30 terabytes of storage capacity, 2 terabytes of performing cache, a ton of compute, and a lot of bandwidth. And within the data center, again, we have to start with a minimum of three nodes to start a Coesity cluster. These nodes can be x86, Dell, HP, Cisco. Being software defined though, we're not limited just to hardware, we're not limited just to on-prem. For workloads that run in the cloud, we have the ability to have a virtual node run on top of a VM or a hyperware VM, protecting workloads as small as one terabyte and scaling out infinitely but also the ability to protect those workloads that exist in the cloud by running the Coesity data platform on top of cloud VMs and Amazon, Azure, and Google. And what's key about this is that we basically, being software defined, we eliminate the boundaries, those lines that exist between remote offices, data center, and the cloud. So for example, any data that gets created and protected in a virtual, in a virtual node in a remote office can easily replicate to Coesity running on top of hardware appliances in your data centers. And again, archive out to a cloud for near line, and again, out to a secondary cloud. What's key about this is that this entire movement is seamless and frictionless and completely automated. And that's both for data that's created on-prem, but also data created in the cloud. We can easily move between clouds or move between on-cloud and on-prem, eliminating basically the lines that exist, operating as a single operating platform that extends from remote offices through the data center and into the cloud. And what's unique about our platform, again, is all the different features built into it. Our patented snap tree technology, which I'll talk a bit about in a future slide. Our index engine, global deduplication encryption, being able to run different protocols of NFS, NF, uh, S3, and SMB on top of us. And what's unique is that all this is not bolt-ons, but actually built directly into our platform. And why that's significant is that as we collapse different workloads on top of us, they can all share from this. So anything I'm doing for backup and recovery can take care, take advantage of our global deduplication, just like our scale-up NAS can do. 
And that's really the concept of Cohesity is really what we're trying to do is a new category we'll call secondary data cloud. And that really is the ability to be able to unify all your secondary data and applications from your remote office, through your data center, and into the cloud. And what's significant about this is the entire thing is managed from a single UI. In this example, again, I'm looking at my primary cluster, but I can easily just flip over to my secondary cluster running in another data center or take a look at my cluster running out in AWS or a virtual cluster out in the cloud or take a look at every single, uh, sorry, a virtual cluster running out in a remote office or I can take a look at all of them together. Nice ability is that one management, the simplification of being able to manage your entire environment, no matter where it's spread globally from a single uh, UI. And I want to conclude spending just a few minutes on each one of the four major um, workloads we support. So Coesity supports four workloads on top of us. There's data protection, scale out NAS, test and development, and analytics. So I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes and talk a bit, a bit more about each one of those workloads. Workload one, data protection. Again, backup and recovery, the whole core concept of what data protection is. With Coesity, we can backup anything, anywhere. Data that's created out in a remote office, data created in the data center, data created in the cloud, to be able to support any hypervisor, any database application, to be able to be able to back up data that's in the cloud and on-prem and seamlessly be able to replicate between the two. Using our SnapTree technology, again, it's our patented technology, allows us to be able to take very, very efficient backups, giving us the ability to be able to backup as, as frequently as every 10 minutes, giving you a return point of 10 minutes or less. And again, using our SnapTree technology, which I will show you a bit more in a future slide, being able to have a recovery time of near instant, 10 second recovery time. Another key aspect of data protection is archive. And with Coesity, being able to very efficiently keep backup on us, we can keep a lot more data on top of us. Being able to really give you that first near line archive, being able to keep it directly within the Coesity data platform. But also being able to seamlessly flow up to cloud for deep archive. And what's key is being able to be internal or external, being able to take it and being the whole thing managed from Coesity, being able to be able to move your data around seamlessly, be able to uh, support your workload and place it in, in a platform based on economics and value to the company. And then lastly, disaster recovery. Three mouse click failover to be able to fail over to a secondary data center being up operating in minutes and a three mouse click fail back. But again, very, very sim a simple platform. What's key about Coesi, our data protection is our ability to be able to do backup recovery, archive and disaster recovery from a single data uh, environment. So we are a complete data recovery platform. Again, what's nice about us, no moving parts, no agents, be able to run seamlessly, whether it be in remote office, data center or the cloud. Our second, workload is your files and objects being scale out NAS. And we have the ability to be able to take all your files and objects, all the different sprawl across different file servers, different NAS environments, that sprawl that happens with unstructured data, which is turning into be about 80% of your overall data environment, to be able to place that on top of Coesity, globally deduplicate it, encrypt it, and being able to index it. So to be able to find anything, no matter where it is, as simple as performing a Google search. What's key about Coesity using us is your scale up mass. We are a ransomware proof environment. Every bit of data that sits on top of Coesity is immutable. Nothing can be changed. Even when we write uh, new data, we simply write a new block. We don't change the block we've already created. What's significant about that is that, again, you can put all your files on top of us, your entire unstructured data workload on top of Coesity, index it, find it easily, but also not have to worry about it ever being impacted by the negative uh, outcome of ransomware. And lastly, we auto protect as frequent as every 10 minutes, being able to protect our different shares, different workloads, giving the end user the ability to be able to easily recover their own. Very, very simple data recovery and what we call an intelligent data vault. Put your data on us, index it, deduplicate it, allow users to be able to search for it and find it easily. Now, the next two workloads really are about making the data that sits on top of us actionable which means any data that we back up or any files and objects we place on top of us, we have the ability to be able to run in place test dev. And with Coesi, what we can do is we can instantly spin up a no penalty gold copy of production from any point in time. So to describe that instantly spin up, meaning if for example, I wanna spin up my SharePoint environment, which in my environment is about six servers, a SQL cluster, 
I can instantly spin all of them up. No penalty being it consumes no storage space at all, but yet a gold copy of production, which means it's an exact copy of production. All the VMDKs, all the databases, application consistent, and I can pull them back from any backup point I, I have. So I can actually instantly recover my SharePoint environment within Kalisti to be able to run test dev from a backup I took five minutes ago or a backup I took five years ago. And that allows you to do some pretty interesting things like non-disruptive DR on demand tests. If I can spin up any of my environment instantly, why couldn't I take my environment, replicate it to a secondary data cluster, stand that up and do in-place DR on demand in the middle of the afternoon? Some of the nice key features that are coming, the simplicity of our environment, being really a self-service innovation lab. And then the fourth and final workload is analytics. And if I take a look at analytics, it's really interesting, the conversations I'm hearing today. They're really similar to the conversations I was hearing five years ago around cloud. You know, they know cloud's there. People want to investigate it, but they don't know where to start. They don't know the risks. And I'm starting to hear the same thing about analytics. Everybody's talking about, yeah, we need to do analytics, but, you know, where do I start? How does it get involved? With Cohesity, we make analytics and automation really easy using our Cohesity App Store. And here's a bit of a snapshot of the prototype of what it looks like. And what this allows me to do is any data that I've placed on top of us that I've backed up, any files and objects from any one of my rollback points, I can run easy to use applications across to do things like, you know, forensic tools, detect malware, you know, any type of compliancy, a nice easy application for end users to do. And what we do with analytics is we really create a very user-friendly analytics environment. The ability to be able to use analytics as easily as you use applications on top of your smartphone. And so those are the four use cases that Coecity focuses on. Data protection, scale out NAS, test dev development, and analytics. Now before I go into, this is the last slide I'm going to do before I go into uh, just kind of closing off talking a bit about the organization, but I want to talk about our Snaptree technology and significance of it. And I'll use it using a real world whiteboard example. So. If I take a look at a VMware environment, this could be Hyper-V, it could be Acropolis. Um, but in this case, you know, I got my Hyper-V environment, I got a primary storage, I'm going to talk about a, you know, a single VM. Coesity within the data center, we are that sit below that. We have our performance layer, we have our uh, hard disk layer, storage capacity layer. And the very first backup we do, we don't use any agents at all. So basically we'll talk with VMware, VADP APIs and say, send me a gold copy of your of a, of a virtual host. In there, we'll pull all the VMDKs over. As we're ingesting, we will deduplicate, compress, encrypt, index, and have it sit immutable. Again, not being able to be, be able to be changed. This is a complete gold indexed and deduplicated gold copy of your production environment. So what's significant is the next time we do a backup, and that backup could be an hour later. In this case, I'm going to do a backup the next day. And all we do is just pull over what's new data, what's the delta data since the last backup. But what happens on top of Cohesity is where Snaptree comes in. And with Snaptree, I can instantly clone anything. So I can take a VM and I can instantly create a clone of it. Fully hydrated, fully indexed, but no penalty. Consume no space. And what we do within Cohesity is I'll take an instant clone of that and then take my backup. What that does is a couple things because we're only pulling over the change blocks. The backups are very efficient be it by being merge them as we fly, basically allows us to do is create fully hydrated recovery points uh, that go back in history. And if we want to do a recovery on top of CoEC, again, where Snaptree comes in is, to use an example, your exchange server and production blows up. The recovery process on CoEC is go to our nice, easy to use user interface, type in the name of the VM you want to recover, automatically on CoEC within our performance SSD flash layer, We'll create a temporary data store. Snaptree will automatically create a gold copy clone of the VM you want to recover and automatically register that with your VMware environment. This entire process from start to finish takes about 10 seconds. And what happens here is once it's powered on, users can now access this. So what's key about that is if I'm backing up my data every single hour, basically what I've done is I've given myself a recovery point of one hour or less, and it took me less than 10 seconds to recover it. Users are actually accessing the the VM on top of our SSD performance layer, and then as a vStorage motion, we'll move it back to production. What this allows us to do is to be able to do very, very efficient backups, very, very efficient recovery of one or multiple VMs, and that really is the key to Snaptree, our patented technology, which I think is really a differentiator between us and other solutions on the market.
So normally this is where I'd go into a demo and kind of show you the different platforms, but in this one, I'm just going to jump directly to talking a bit about the company and talking about, first of all, about our, our VCs. And again, some very, very strong uh, backing we have financially from Google Ventures, SoftBank, Morgan Stanley, Sequoia, many others, and some key strategic partnerships and investment with Cisco and HP. And what's significant about Coesity is, to talk a bit about the organization, is a award we won last year from the World Economic Forum. And what the org what that is, is that every year they award companies that really they see as the highest potential to transform society. And if you take a look at some past winners, what you're seeing is that this is not really an IT award. You're not seeing, you know, it's going to a storage provider or a backup provider or anything like that. What this really is, is aimed towards organizations themselves that are restructuring and transforming society as Google has done, as Twitter, as Airbnb and blockchain. And Coesity is very proud in 2018 to receive the Technology Partner uh, Award. And again, what's the significance of Coesity? And it's what they saw basically and how Coesity is really transforming the way organizations and enterprises do secondary storage. And that really comes back to really what our DNA is about. And if we take a look at our founder, Mohit Aaron. Mohit uh, was the co-founder and former CTO of Nutanix, as a lot of people know. And if you actually wiki uh, Mohit, you'll find uh, he's considered the father of hyperconverged technology. A lot of that technology you're seeing start to dominate primary storage. But what they don't a lot of know about Coesity is lead engineer of the Google File System Project. And he joined Google back when Google was about the same size as Coesity is right now. And him and his team were major developers of majority of the Google file system. And really what the concept of the Google file system was, was if the future was about data, being able to create a single platform where we can collapse multiple workloads on top of us, be able to collect that data, catalog it, and be able to make use of it. And by building a single operating system that spanned across, you know, infinite skill nodes. And on top of that, where you place your different workloads, and that's where you find your, your Gmail, YouTube, Google Maps, and just take a look at the significance of these large applications all running on top of the Google file system. And what's key about it is the simplicity of it, the simplicity to search, the simplicity to use the applications, an infinite scale platform where I can run multiple workloads sharing the benefits of the Google file system that's very easy for end users to, to, to operate. And that's the concept of Coesity and what the World Economic Forum saw and how we're going to significantly impact secondary workloads is that concept of being able to take an infinite scale file system to be able to scale it infinitely across remote offices through your data center into the cloud and be able to collapse different workloads on top of it. And today we start with data protection, files and objects, test them and analytics, and keep it simple. The idea of simplicity, easy to be able to find your data, easy to be able to recover your data, easy to be able to spin it up and do test dev, very easy to be able to run analytics within the platform itself. And that really is the concept of what Coesity is, is a secondary data cloud. All your secondary data and apps unified across the entire ecosystem, all managed from a single UI. And again, coming back full circle, a key aspect, I think, and one of the most important features of Coesity is our simplicity. I want to thank you very much for your participation today. And if you want to find out more information, please don't hesitate to, to reach out to Darren or I or go directly to Coesity.com. I hope you have a great day and thank you very much.